Good morning. It is 6.15. Still kind of waking up. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm gonna drink some water. And then I'm gonna go on my walk. It's just gross outside. I'll be back. It's 6.45. I've made it out of the apartment. I try to walk every day for, if I go to the gym, four miles. And then if I don't go to the gym, three miles a day. Probably get a coffee because I'm sleepy. And the weekends, I'll normally like treat myself to an outside coffee instead of making it inside. I don't know what's humid. It's humid, but I got my Final Fantasy X shirt. Got my Final Fantasy X shirt on. <gasps> Look, golden morning light. I have my... Yungi D-Day tour hat on. Anyways, it's the all black. It's the all black fit. You know how it goes. Right now I'm listening to my girls, the Seraphim. Uh, they just released an English version of Eve Psyche and Bluebeard's Wife. And they didn't miss. It's a banger. showered. I am infinitely less sweaty. I have never really been like a, like a skincare girly, but I've always just like washed my face, exfoliated. I know that you're not supposed to exfoliate every day, but my skin feels worse if I don't exfoliate every day. So <laughs> I exfoliate every day. And then obviously moisturizer. Then recently I was like, you know what? I feel like I could be taking better care of my skin. So taking better care of it. Well, let's get into it. my little fit check. I was going out to meet my friend for a army birthday party, which if you're not in BTS fandom, basically <laughs> the day that ARMY's name was decided, like our fandom name was decided and was kind of like revealed to people, this was, this was the date. Um, so somebody threw, like ARMY put together a beautiful event at this space downtown. It was really cute and so fun. Look at all of these temporary tattoos and stickers. There were so many to choose from. I was absolutely thrilled. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. There were lots of like independent artists that do like army fan merch and that were selling photo cards and like original art and pins and stuff like that. There was even a space set up where you could get your tarot read, which I don't really take much stock in. I'm not really like a believer in that, but I just think it's like a really fun event. But this was so cool. This woman built her own BTS customized tarot deck, which like I thought was really, really cool. Obviously we had to get a gelato. And then I went to sleep. I went and met up with one of my friends for drinks. This was my fit check. A little bit cooler when I left, so I was just enjoying the New York City weather. I flew up to Boston to celebrate one of my best friend's birthdays, my very good close group of friends. We all went to a lake house for the weekend to celebrate their birthday. And we all just had such a wonderful weekend. It was such a good time to like be out in nature. We went swimming one day. We went to the lake. Um, we wrote a lot of fan fiction. We just hung out. We spent good quality time together. Good 
super mm. cute. Mm. <laughs> I made this incredible supernatural themed cake. They love supernatural, so obviously we had to go with the theme. Happy birthday to you and many more. Enjoying the last little bit, basking in nature. We hit up this really incredibly cute diner spot on our way back home. This was a fantastic experience, 10 out of 10. And then I went to see the Barbie movie, quick little fit check. I don't know anything that's pink, so I had a little pink ribbon in my hair, but that was it. We had a really fun time. to blur this out in the background, so that way we be staying safe out here. Just went for my morning walk. It is Sunday. It's Sunday is July 30th. It is beautiful. It was 68 degrees. 68 degrees when I left my apartment at like 7.15 this morning. Freaking incredible. We love to see it. I was so happy. It was like instant mood booster. Um, and I have a breakfast sandwich, which I'm really excited about eating. Um, I haven't had a breakfast sandwich in, God, so long. Probably like three or four months. I don't know. It's been a while. Well, it's a beautiful day. We're going to go to the grocery store later. We're going to do some chores. And then I'm going to play Sunhaven for the first time. I'm really excited about it. Um, I love Stardew Valley. I love a cozy farming sim. I can't wait. Good morning, it is 6.20. I am walking to the gym. Um, it's Monday, July 31st. It's the last day of the month. Yay! <laughs> oh my God, I look so tired. Please ignore how tired I look. It's because I didn't sleep well. So on Saturday night, so yeah, yesterday was Sunday, today's Monday. Um, so on Saturday night, we went to see the Barbie movie. It was great, we had a, we had a fun time. Um, but we got home from the movie and it was like 11.30, which I normally go to bed every night at 9, 9.30. Uh, like every night I'm really, 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 I'm like so protective of my sleep. And this is why, because, so I went to bed at like 11.30, but I couldn't fall asleep for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And then once I did fall asleep, I was waking up. Like it felt like every 40 minutes, I was waking up so often. I was really anxious about, this is so silly, but this is like such a, this is like a, such a New York problem is that the other morning I had woken up and the first thing that I saw when I opened my eyeballs, the first thing I saw was a dying, roach on its back dying. Obviously I was like, let's deal with this. My partner dealt with it, which is great. Because that was my first sight the other morning. I was paranoid that I was gonna wake up in the middle of the night and that there was gonna be like a roach in my bed, which is obviously super unrealistic, but that is how my anxiety is. So I slept really poorly. So I got to bed really late and waking up every hour because Hello? Not the honking. I really try not to hit snooze on my alarm when my alarm goes off. Um, it's just like a habit that I don't, I don't want to indulge. I don't want to indulge in the snooze because it makes me feel terrible. It makes me feel worse. It makes my day go poorly. Anyways, it's not good. It's not good for my health or my sleep quality. So then my alarm went off at six. Obviously this is after like going about like 12.30 and getting like really poor quality sleep the whole night. My alarm goes off at six. Obviously I don't hit snooze. And I wake up and I like went on my walk. I like filmed a little bit. You saw yesterday. At that point I felt fine. But then I genuinely think, I think that breakfast sandwich that I had, 
think it didn't sit right with me. I think they must have used like a lot of cream in the scrambled eggs because I ate that and then I felt so ill. I felt ill the rest of the day. So not only, I, I think the breakfast sandwich didn't sit well with me, but because I was so sleep deprived, I and had such poor quality sleep the whole day, I was like, I felt like I was gonna faint. I was felt also nauseous all day. It was like, uh, I had a headache. It was awful. I felt so, 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 so sick. That is why I protect my sleep so heavily. And then yesterday I went to bed, obviously I went to bed at like 9.15 and was super excited about it. Um, and woke up this morning. I definitely still woke up a bunch throughout the night. So I'm gonna go to the gym now. I really don't feel like going to the gym today. I don't wanna go to the gym today, but we don't cancel our workouts. So I will be going, I'll be doing leg day, let's gar. And then I, I truly have like eight meetings today. That's probably also why I'm like, ah, oh my god, I, I literally, I look so puffy. My face looks like 10 times the size what it normally is. We're going to be drinking a lot of water today. I like barely drank water yesterday. This is not good either. I need to stay hydrated, obviously. Yesterday was just, a lot was happening. Things were going on. We are going to get my life back on track today, okay? I'm gonna start that by going and doing my leg workout. <laughs> and it's gonna be hard, and I'm gonna feel like I'm dying, but if I'm not pushing myself in the gym, then what was the point of me even fucking showing up? You know, I might as well have just skipped. If I'm not pushing myself, if I'm not gonna show up and kill myself in this workout, what was the point of me going, you know? <laughs> okay, I'll come back to you later. Thank you for watching my vlog, if you've gotten this far. Um, July was super, 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 super fun. There were a lot of things too that I am still getting in the habit of like remembering to film, right? So there were definitely a lot of things that were really cool that I got to do this month around the city that, you know, I didn't, I forgot to record or like I was just, you know, being in the moment, touching grass, crazy, touching concrete. Spent a day in Flushing, which was really fun. Um, we went to this new cafe. I got a delicious, delicious, delicious latte. Um, and we tried this like pumpkin cheesecake that was, had like actual slices of pumpkin in it, which like the vegetable, it was crazy. I thought it was just gonna be like pumpkin flavor, like a puree or something, but no, 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 it was, <laughs> it was fully like, using the vegetables so that was really cool um and we also got some soup dumplings that day it was literally so hot though and i was like <laughs> but i was like determined to get soup dumplings because i haven't had them in a really long time and i was like i'm gonna go get soup dumplings it had no air conditioning there was no ac there was no air conditioning i was sweating and eating these soup dumplings what else did i do i did start playing sunhaven and it is so fun i am 100 addicted it's my new hyper fixation it's like my relaxation game play and i will like log in and play and just like truly disassociate which is really kind of nice so i've been really really loving playing sunhaven recently i've been going on tons of morning walks i used to be like a midday walk person and in the winter i normally do my walks midday because that's when it's like warmest out <laughs> it's not as cold um, but in the summer obviously it's super hot midday so i've been doing all my walks in the morning it's been a really beautiful way to start my day. It's been really nice. We've had wonderful weather in New York over the last few days. The heat wave like finally broke. It's great. So I've been really, really enjoying my morning walks. I went to a sushi restaurant, this Japanese chef, and it is his first ever American location. Um, and the restaurant was, is called Sushi Delic. Uh, I don't know if it's called Sushi, pronounced Sushi Delic or Sushi Delish. Uh, I think it's called Sushi Delish would be my would be my guess. But anyways, it's omakase and it is supposed to be like a fusion of everything that's kawaii and sushi. And me and my friend went, we were honestly had zero expectations and all of the food was phenomenal. It was off the charts. It was so good. Every single course was just like the combination of flavors was really phenomenal. Um, and for dessert, we had this yuzu chocolate. 
it was so incredibly good so i had a really fun july and looking forward to the rest of summer got some fun things planned that hopefully um i'll go along and i'll film more and let me know in the comments if there's anything that you want to see more of what your favorite part was what parts of my life you want to see more of and i'll do my best to try and film it so thanks for coming along the journey with me bye